forget what that stupid guy told you to do um, launching Quest App Launcher by spoofing it. That stupid guy has a better way to do it now, so listen up. What's up guys, so the best way to install Quest App Launcher and launch it is actually this way. Um, Flo said this a while ago, should have listened to her sooner. So there's a pack that I included with all the APKs, or I just included them individually. Pick the settings app, first install Quest App Launcher, that's fine. And you'll get the stream st install success, and then do the same thing with whatever version of Quest you're using. So here I had Quest 2, if you had Quest 1, you do the settings for Quest 1. And then Keymapper. And once all three are installed, Quest 1 takes a lot longer to do this part, and I sped it up a little bit. But once all three are installed, you're going to go into your Quest, and you're going to go to your apps, and you're going to switch to Unknown Sources, and you're going to launch Keymapper. If you have a Quest 1, you're going to have to go to the Oculus TV app. You'll find it in your main, in your main apps list, the installed apps. There'll be TV at the top. You're going to click on it, then you're going to go to Channels, then you're going to click on Settings. And once you go to Settings, in there, it looks like an Android cog, and once it looks like an Android settings menu. And in there, you're going to go to permissions. You could use your thumbstick to scroll down or up, or you can use the trigger itself to grab and scroll the page. Instead of the grip button, it's the trigger. Um, you might have to press it twice. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to permissions for Keymapper. And once you get to Keymapper and you go to permissions, you're going to turn on allow it to modify system settings. So you're going to click modify system settings, then allow. And then that's it. So now back to both Quest 1 and Quest 2. And you're going to go to your apps, and you're going to switch to Unknown Sources. And you're going to launch Keymapper settings. So due to a weird Oculus privacy standard, um, you're not able to share 2D apps. As you can see, this is all black. So I, I had to record it on my Android phone, and it's not exactly the same, but bear with me here. So the first thing when you launch Keymapper is you'll see there's no from the developer. Just click Next, go through it. and then. Enable the accessibility service. So in order to do this, I mean, you click enable to say enabled on, I think, the Quest 1. The Quest 2, it might. But if for any reason it's not it's not enabled, you just click use keymapper. But it should just say thanks, enabled. As you can see, there's Android pop-ups happening here, but you're not on Android. You're on a Quest. So next, you're going to click on turn off. And you'll see not optimized at the top. You have to click on not optimized and turn it to all apps, because Android's being a dick again. And then scroll down until you find Keymapper. There's a lot more here because it's an Android, but either way, go to Keymapper, click on it. And this is why you need the Settings app. You wouldn't be able to do this. Then click on Don't Optimize. It might look a little different, but ignore the Go To Don't Kill My App. And then uh, now you just click Grant, and you're going to go to Keymapper again. And uh, you're going to allow it to Do Not Disturb. Click Allow on Do Not Disturb. I know it says that on the Quest. I just did it. And now it says, good, you can remap your volume buttons. That's what, we, that's what we're here for. So now you can press the Y button or the B button to leave this uh, patch notes thing. And, um, you're going to press the plus sign, and you're going to record trigger. Now be ready to press your volume up, because you have to do it during these five seconds. So press volume up during these five seconds. You don't have to hold it or double tap yet. And it'll just get the volume up. Now you're going to click on the three dots at the top in order to get this option here, whether you want it to be a short press, a long press, or a double press. If you're the type of person who likes to hit it a bunch of times, then do the then then obviously do the long press so you won't accidentally do it. And you gotta make sure you check the do not override default action box so that you can still use your volume. Then you go to uh, the action, click on add action, and you select the quest app launcher. And that's it. So now you can you can exit out of the program and give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna show you video of me doing it here and uh, yeah then a couple of tips about quest app launcher and you're good I'm just gonna hold the volume up and that's all I did I didn't aim at anything as you can see I just held volume up on the quest one it takes a little longer to launch but it's there it is so I'm gonna have to center it with the there we go now I'm gonna go to settings here just a couple quick settings that I suggest is uh, turn off the auto tabs turn off the custom tabs and uh, sort by whatever you prefer. Um, and I turn the columns all the way up to max and the rows up to max. Show 2D off. I don't want to show Oculus apps and stupid shit like that because that'll get rid of the stupid system apps, which is very nice. Um, and then that's it. We're just going to go back. And you can change your uh, background. There's like a folder where you can place them on your quest. I'll explain that in a future update. Um, that's the next planned video. So there we go. Nice big screen. No Oculus apps, which could be very annoying. You can click Y and you can hide it. Or you can click the X 
and you can rename it. Pick entry to rename app axe legend. So then you look through every app that's ever existed and try to find it. Um, let's see if someone has done it. Probably not. No, that's it. It's the only one. Anyway, so you can do that with a lot of things. Let's see if there's one for car parking simulator. There really should be. Someone should have put an icon up. And if not, though, you can provide your own list that uses both their list and your own. So someone just has to give it art, basically. That's all it comes down to. Um, so I can look. you can look at everything this way. You can also hide it if you don't like the fact that it doesn't have art, or if it's a game you just don't want on here. So the top button is hide. The bottom button's uh, rename or choose another app that you think applies more to the thing you have sideloaded. So say you have something sideloaded and it's incorrectly labeled, you can just, you know, see this? I don't like this. Dollar, swarm, dollar... VR, no, I don't. We don't like them. So <laughs> I don't have a big beef with them. It's just you know they charge people. We're not into that. Um, probably gonna take donations someday, but we're not gonna charge. Uh, swarm. See this swarm at blah blah blah. We want the real swarm. Is it not here? No one put swarm through out, out yet. Oh, I'm gonna go take care of this today, cause this is nonsense. I gotta update this repo. I'm, I don't know who I have to contact, but I'm going to. I don't know why Supernatural's here, but Swarm isn't. You can't even Sorry, look. Supernatural anymore. It's a guardian, it's a, whatchamacallit, a account only thing. It's a paid service and you can't click it because it needs, it needs to check online. Basically the only games you can't Sorry, click, you can click that are online are, div are ones of people that just haven't had the time to code it. They're lazy. Not so lazy, it could be a one man team, who knows. Um, so yeah, top button is hide. Bottom button is rename. Oh, I just launched a net. So yeah, you guys get it. I don't know what I launched. Let's find out. I accidentally triggered. Oh, in death. Fucking fantastic game. I love this game. If you haven't played it, play it. It's amazing. And don't get discouraged when you die. Dying is leveling up. Basically, every time you die, whatever cool things you did in that life, a couple headshots, this and that, they lead to you getting more ex experience and unlocking new abilities and new cool arrows and new everything. But that's it, guys. Thanks a lot. Um, that's everything. Bye.